All right, Jeff Edris here. We're we'll here in Toronto. Uh, it's the morning of Friday, uh, the second day of the Conservative Convention. Just heading over to the Conference Center where the first event uh, for me today uh, is a panel of pundits. Let's go take a look. The panel was moderated by former Conservative Minister Monty Soberg and included Mike Storshaw, Jamie Watt, and some other regular Conservative pundits. No Tobin Andy Peter to take a few punches, though. Read my live blog for more, but I'm struck by how much they think their success is the new natural state of things. Peter, on the job, well done. It's been a long haul to get to this position of a majority Conservative government, and you should congratulate yourself. <laughs> Next, Preston Manning headlined a session on the Manning Center's Conservatism Research Panel. Again, I live blogged more about this, but I found their supporting research a bit dubious. Steve Darber has just wrapped up his uh, Friday night keynote speech to the convention delegates. Uh, he was running late as usual, started about half an hour behind schedule, but they managed to tighten it up and uh, he finished uh, the speech just five minutes into the scheduled start time of the, the Canucks game. Uh, so everyone is now streaming out of the uh, convention hall, making their way either up to their rooms to watch the game uh, or to the hospitality suites, which uh, if they're smart and want people to attend tonight, uh, we'll all be showing uh, the hockey game. And so with the speech ended, all the delegates, as I mentioned, are filing out of the room and they're all actually streaming over to these windows behind me, which look down on Colonel Bai Drive where the protest was. And uh, uh, they all seem a bit disappointed when they get here and see that uh, all the protesters have gone home. Obviously, I wasn't the target uh, market for this speech tonight. Uh, this wasn't a speech, I don't think, to to Canadians, to the to the electorate at large. This was a speech to conservatives, uh, to party supporters. Generally, a uh, good job, a thank you uh, for the work ahead, a a, a, uh, a celebration of the majority. Uh, Frankly, uh, I didn't think it was a particularly strong speech. Um, obviously, most people here think it was fantastic, but uh, I can't recall any particularly strong lines or uh, stirring passages. There wasn't that, uh, anything really around a, a, a call to action that, uh, or any kind of, of defining uh, sense of purpose uh, for uh, a party and a government, a prime minister that now has a four-year majority mandate to really put their stamp on this country. Uh, it was very much a message of uh, stay the course, uh, we're we're going to do do what we did. Uh, we're going to do what we promised to do, and I don't think that was by mistake. That's much of the message that they've been sending all along. That uh, the people of Canada want uh, stability. They want uh, the government to do what they said they'll do and not do any big uh, big grand schemes. Uh, it was, it was, as was called this morning, but uh, just run a uh, sensible government and. They say, uh, anyway, that that's what uh, they're doing and uh, what they plan to do. Uh, and with that, uh, I'll sign off from night two of the uh, Conservative National Convention in Ottawa. I'm Jeff Jedris. Thanks for watching.